AAA says some 37 million motorists will take the roads this Memorial Day weekend. It's time for the weekend sip, and if hitting the road for a summertime weekend getaway, how about a non-alcoholic beverage that tastes like, well, beer? Charles Passy is here with the goods, and we're joined by WSJ's Emma Moody. So yeah, what, what, what are you skeptical, forcing us to today? Skeptical Emma Moody. We right have... Now. Faux beer. Um, uh, no, we have a non-alcoholic beer. Um, it's from a German brewery, Klausdaler. Um, I think I'm pronouncing that right. But they have been making, um, they've been around for more than 30 years. Um, non-alcoholic beer is a category. Um, doesn't sell a lot, but it's been a little bit on the upswing. And they actually just recently introduced um, something that they say is called, almost like an IPA, uh, an India Pale Ale. So it's a more flavorful, non-alcoholic beer. It's made with hops sourced from uh, Yakima, Washington, um, the Cascade Hop, which is a great American hop. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We, you think we should try it? I think we should yeah. try it, right, but I'm right. not going to be very thrilled <laughs> if this comes out disappointing. Oh, so <laughs> take a sip. Yeah. All right, Emma, what's the verdict? All right. It tastes like beer. It does taste like beer. Yeah, it's, I mean, for I mean, like a... Can, I, I feel like I can tell that it's a non-alcoholic beer, like there's just some something kind of missing. Yeah, yeah but, but I heard that there's a little bit... I mean, what somebody told me yesterday, who's very smart, is that there's actually alcohol in orange juice, and the amount of alcohol that's in this is the same as orange juice? Uh, there, there, there is a trace amount. I mean, you know, <laughs> this is... That is, is this desperate. Is, that's the, a really desperate. <laughs> you, you, you will not get a buzz on this. Um, I, I mean, I think it's a safe beer for breakfast, which is the time we're drinking it. Um, but that's, but, and that's their slogan. <laughs> a safe, if you want bacon, eggs, and beer, go after a But no, 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 no. There really is the alcoholic uh, amount is is non-existent essentially and and honestly um, you know look this is very this is in the wheelhouse of pregnant women people who for religious reasons won't drink um, but what they're saying and I don't know if it will prove right is much like there's you know boutique iced teas or craft sodas they think that this can be positioned as a beverage that's not just a alternative to real beer but a beverage on its own I do say it has a lot of flavor I think the lack of alcohol you know there's something a little bit missing from the yeah. equation and it's not just the buzz that's what you were saying right. too. Yeah, it was a little bit. Feel. But perhaps if you forget that it's supposed to be a beer and think about it as a you know a beverage of its own, then you know it's definitely drinkable. You know, I think it's refreshing for a summer day. Mm. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming yeah. on, Charles. Thank you so much, Emma. Thank you. Thank you to our troops on this uh, weekend before Memorial Day. We'll have a sip and we'll be off. Have a great weekend.